Hello, hello, this is Sinet Natura Angela. Welcome to the City of Healing, where the city resides within. Hope you all are doing well. I previously recorded this video earlier and decided what I wanted to do is basically combine the videos instead of having two separate videos. So basically what I wanted to talk about, and I'm gonna share my outfit of the day. Well, let me go ahead and share my outfit first before we get into the conversation about the topic of this evening and basically what I have on is a, a simple white dress with um, jean basically jean material and has the blue stripes I got it from um, no I didn't get it from Madewell but it's a Madewell dress it's um, basically thrifted and um, it's very comfortable it has pockets and I have on these blue um, jean loafers and accented with some jewelry blue jewelry and um, this interesting earring that I got from a boutique and some silver bracelets. And it's basically a comfortable outfit. And um, I did shave my hair some more. I didn't cut it and it is growing and I got some of it tucked up like that and pinned. And um, like I said, I didn't um, cut this, but I did shave this some more. I really like this shaved style. I used to wear that a lot once upon a time, but let me get up and show you the outfit of the day. That's it. That's basically it. <laughs> and these are the shoes. These shoes are from um, Cole Hahn. Um, I got them from Nordstrom's, and Nordstrom's is a pretty high-end store, but you have to know when to go and where to look. So like I said, these are Con Hall shoes, and I didn't pay over $25 for them. So that's it that's the outfit of the day my outfit i dress different styles there's no particular style but i have to be comfortable nothing really tight or anything like that um what i wanted to talk about is are we um overstimulated are we uh, exhausting our nervous system are our nerves on fire and I've been thinking about that a lot and thinking about the influx of depression, the influx of autoimmune diseases, the influx of panic attacks and anxiety. Are we overstimulated? Uh, what's going on? Is it the environment? Is it the food? Is it the air? Um, maybe it's a combination of none of those things. Um, some people call it um, entering into different dimensions our nervous system is affected because you know it's in our spine where knowledge and information is stored and you know all the nerves are uh, derived from there and so it's important I feel to consider you know all of those aspects of our health if our nervous system is indeed on fire are we overstimulated and I've often thought about technology, how much is it advancing and how much, you know, we are um, growing as um, a human race and our knowledge of what's going on and entering into the age of Aquarius and entering into different um, dimensions of evolution. Um, if I, is our nervous system actually going there before us and if so how we're we supposed to adapt to this so or if we are overstimulated by looking at too much um, computers you know the Wi-Fi the cable um, when looking at the computer 24 7 especially if you work with it but we depend so much on um, our 
cell phones and our computers that we don't even use our own human brain that much anymore. So that's something to consider as well, you know, because that was causing our brains to be on fire. And then our foods that we're eating or we're not eating, um, as the saying goes, we are not what we eat. We are what we absorb. And some of us, our guts, we don't have healthy guts. And so we're not able to absorb all of the nutrients from the foods that we eat. It's not vegans and vegetarians that are B12 deficient, but meat eaters can be B12 deficient as well because we're not able to absorb you know, all those nutrients that we need. And the B complex vitamins are so important um, to have, of course, because they are the major, the large building block of the proteins and nourishment that we need um, for our bodies to function. And B12 um, is indeed important for that as well. And another thing to consider the antioxidants, you know, the D3s, um, the K and the K2, and our omega-3 fatty acids, you know, the ALA, the DHA, the EPA, and, you know, we can get that from our fish, our fatty fish, our coconut oil, uh, things of that nature, so that our nerve system, they like to be oiled so the communication um, can flow easily and glide as it needs to. You know, we need to make sure that we incorporate good fatty acids such as those and our B12 vitamins so that our ner nervous system can be nourished properly. And those are some things to consider and make sure that we have that those nourishments in our lives. And then um, are we meditating? Are we doing yoga? Um, are we getting the correct amount of sleep that we need um, between the magical hours of 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. so that the brain can detoxify itself. If we're not sleeping at those times, you know, we may have toxins and can irritate our nervous system and cause our nerves to be on fire. And if our nerves are on fire, a good way to help that immediately is take cold showers or cold baths and that helps calm the nervous system if it's on fire and we're overstimulated and that can help calm it so making sure that we incorporate and nourish our nervous system like we should getting them out of rest and decreasing stress is so very important to make sure that we incorporate and including um, the fact that we are evolving um, as a race into another dimension can also you know, stimulate, you know, the nervous system. Some people may say that's kind of far-fetched, perhaps. But <clears throat> we are indeed evolving, and um, some of us can feel that energy occurring. And um, modern technology, you know, is evolving as well. Um, but we can overstimulate ourselves by overconsumption. And sometimes it's not even overconsumption because our neighbors can have cable and Wi-Fi and uh, we sleep with it still on and uh, we have cable in our house. So these, even though the sun is a great positive energy, it gives life to the planet. It's the most beautiful thing about life, you know, the sun. But we, as humans, we also learn to manipulate that energy and make it negative and uh, it affects us, especially our nervous system. And our nervous system is basically in control of everything. You know, in that spine, uh, derived from that spine, are the nerves that go to different parts of the body and help basically um, uh, communicate um, with the rest of our body. It's part of everything, all of our organs, our systems, needs the nervous system and if we are overstimulated if we're stressed if we're not nourished then I we're gonna come up with these autoimmune diseases panic attacks and anxiety um, you're not crazy <laughs> you know something is going on so stop and think about those types of things I remember when I was anorexic back in my 20s 
um, I met an older lady that wanted me to come and stay with her for a while, so I did. And she made what was we would call a smoothie, but that smoothie was um, liver, chicken livers. And it didn't taste good, but she made me drink it. Not made me drink it, but encouraged me to drink it because she said I would feel better because I was undernourished. I was a ner nervous wreck. Um, I didn't call it anxiety because I didn't know about anxiety then. And I didn't experience panic attacks back then as I did when I was in my late 40s. But, um, and so she took me in and she made this, this um, smoothie and I drank it, and uh, the next day I felt better. And then I had another one, I felt even much better. So what was in that liver that helped me? But organ meat is so nutrient dense, especially liver, um, it's unbelievable. As we know, um, even animals from the wild, they don't go for chicken wing or a squirrel wing or leg or thigh, they go for the organ meats, it's particularly the liver, then the heart, then the gut, and um, that's where they get their nourishment from. And even though the liver helps detoxify, you know, toxins also metabolizes them out, and it stores our B vitamins, our D3, our K2, our K, uh, vitamin K, and our vitamin A is right there in the liver. And so when it's consumed, um, our bodies benefit from those nutrient-dense uh, nutrients. And um, I'll never forget that, you know, how I felt better after consuming that is just amazing. It's not nothing that I really like to eat now, not saying that I have or have not eaten, but um, that was, I considered a miracle at the time and probably, you know, saved my life. So if you haven't um, looked up the benefits or know the benefits of organ meats, particularly liver, um, check that out because it's loaded with B vitamins and vitamin A and all of that. And it has some mega-3s in it that can help nourish the nervous system. And it is, of course, high in cholesterol as well. So anyway... You don't want to eat it every day, so maybe once a week or something like that, um, but something to think about. And so that's why I wanted to come forth because I feel that there may be, I feel that there is going to be an increase in autoimmune disease um, and anxiety and panic attacks due to um, malnutrition of the nutrient-dense foods and vitamins and minerals that we need and overstimulation of negative frequency um, energy from um, technology in our lives, from advancement in computers, advancement in our phones, advancement in basically um, the technology that we're going to be coming forth and even if not so even if it's, it's just our nervous system is taking into us into a, a different dimension as we begin to continue to evolve into um, a higher um, vibrational frequency as the earth changes her vibration as well so it's something to think about not saying that's definitely it but uh, it's something to consider Anyway, thanks for visiting the city, and I uh, just wanted to share that. And I did go see um, um, the um, Phoenix Rising, and that movie was so related to what I was um, talking about regarding the uh, nerves on fire because it made the movie made me think metaphysically that we are in control of our own minds and our own destinies, you know, even though the mind is a, a very powerful thing. And the first universal law, you know, all is mind, all is mental. And um, in this movie, The Rising of the Phoenix, it shows that we are even uh, more afraid of our powers that makes us uh, weak that 
we don't even consider that we need to consider that there's a positive and our light and our dark side and we shouldn't fear that because both are powerful if we can use them in a positive way without giving away the movie but I thought the movie was good a lot of people said that they didn't like the movie but I found something good in it and I felt that it really touched my heart chakra and um, it reminded me that you know our emotions don't make us weak uh, not getting in touch with our emotions make us weak so emotions is basically energy and motion and we need to embrace it and um, the rising of the phoenix is basically the rising of positive and negative and being in touch with our most highest vibration and rise up from the ashes and become great anyway hope that makes sense hope it was helpful and encourage you to go see the um phoenix rising because i thought it was a beautiful movie anyway thanks for visiting the city and i hope you all have a good evening take care